hello friends uh, so here we go with the projection of solids so here we go with the one problem on a tetrahedron okay so a tetrahedron of side 40 mm is resting on one of its uh, sides on hp this side is parallel to vp and 40 mm away from it okay so it is tilted about resting side such that uh, the base containing this edge is inclined at 30 degree to the hp so draw the projection so here so this is a tetrahedron okay so of side 40 mm so a tetrahedron is a uh, one uh, where normally it is uh, having four equilateral triangles so now it is resting on one of its uh, edges okay and the base containing this edge is inclined at a 30 degree to the hp so now it is resting on the hp itself okay so then uh, this whatever the resting edge is parallel to vp and 30 mm away from it 30 mm away from it so these are the sorry 40 mm away from it so these are the thing three things you need to just note down okay so as uh, we uh, know like uh, the tetrahedron uh, looks like an equilateral triangle okay so it is having a four equilateral triangle so from the top so it uh, looks like a, an equilateral triangle so we'll write uh, x y and uh, v p h p okay to start with uh, so we'll take uh, the resting side to the uh, right side so we'll take uh, 40 mm okay so then taking the same length So we'll cut it to arc. Okay. So this is how exactly we can have the initial position that is the top of the tetrahedron. Okay, so this is the base, we can say this is A, so this is B, and this is C. And to locate the center, so we need to drop a midpoint bisector. Okay, just to check okay so now from the corner to the midpoint from each corner to the center just drop a dark light okay so this we say O in the bracket O1 okay so now taking the projections upside so till here Layer and this one to layer and just extend this one upward okay the thin line that is a axis one now you can see there are three edges which are connected to the apex one two and three so these two are inclined to the VP this is this OC is the only one which is parallel to the VP so we can see the actual length in the front view so you need to take 40 we will take a 40 and from the corner side you need to cut that on the axis line so this is our c dash okay so this is our a dash in the bracket b dash so this is our o1 dash and this is a o dash okay so now this line and this is our axis line okay so this is how exactly we can see the tetrahedron in the front view okay so now this 40 should be shown here okay it is not a axis line so careful so this is a edge line and you want to show this one here as a 40 so 
taking this here okay so we'll show this 40 so now in the second position uh, the base containing that edge means uh, this is the side on which it rates and this is the base which is containing this edge okay this uh, c dash a b dash so now uh, take any reference point here okay so now take a 30 degree take a 30 degree line okay so from this side and just drop a, a thin line okay so now taking this as a reference so cut on this line okay so now this is our a dash in the bracket b dash okay so now this is c dash okay so now this angle is 30 degree okay so means uh, this is the resting side and uh, this is the base which is containing this edge okay so now take uh, this line cut on this one and uh, take uh, this line from a to c okay and from a c cut on this one so once it is done just join okay so this is our o dash so now so we need to take o1 dash so come the c just take a o1 dash and just right here this is a o1 dash so this is the axis line okay so once this one is done so now take the projection so first right extreme one okay so bottom one take all the horizontal projections okay now drop the vertical projection okay. so now this is O and this is a O1 so this is C and this is a B this is a A okay so now join A to B to see so this is the boundary okay so this is the boundary and when you see from here you can see what to see so just drop a what to see now this uh, o1 to c sorry the o to o1 is an axis line so that is anyhow not visible to you just a leave so now this is the ab is the resting edge so resting edge is always invisible so make that one with a dotted line okay so this is how exactly it is visible in the second position now the resting edge this ab is parallel parallel means this ab should be here parallel and it should be 40 mm first you need to take a 40 mm line here okay and you just drop one horizontal line okay so now say this is so this is 40 okay so this you measure so it will come 40 okay so the edge line so just a drop here a 40 that is a dotted line a b is a dotted line okay so we have taken and placed it like this so here it is a a here it is a b okay so now measure this uh, c to a b line it is coming 30 and it's a midpoint okay first look at the midpoint here okay and uh, you take a 30 30 it's a dark line okay and measure uh, a, da, a to O that is it is coming around 8 so on the same line you measure 8 
okay so this is our c and this is our o okay so now we got everything so now just uh, join this one join here join here and join this one so we need a o to o1 so you can take it from anywhere so o to o1 so o to o1 you just cut one r and say this is our o1 okay understood right so we have taken ab ab that is a reference which is 40 mm away and it is parallel okay so this line is parallel to this one so now just to construct so c o1 and o are on the same way so it is on the midpoint you just drop one midpoint and take the arch and cut you will get this one so now to project this one upward so we'll take first the topmost and the rightmost it's a a so a is still x y line so this is a dash so b is still x y line so this is our b dash so c o o1 are all on the same line you just drop it upward so this is our o dash okay so from the c just drop one horizontal line so, so this is our c dash and from the o1 just drop a one line okay so this is our o1 so here when you see from here okay so first we'll drop the boundary so year to year so year to year and year to year so this is the boundary and now you can see the one which connects from b to c b to a so b to c is visible so b to a is visible and o to c is visible see now when you see from here you can see this a to c b to c and c to o okay that is that side it is like a like this okay triangle you can see one two and three okay from the bottom okay bottom you can see one two and three lines so now from o to o1 it's an axis line from o to c it is overlapping from c to o1 you just drop one axis line okay so this is how exactly it is visible okay so it is right on so it's an equilateral triangle look at the center drop it and you have to cut it from see the parallel line the oc line is parallel to the xy line so you have to cut from the corner side 40 mm here they are not given any axis line that's an important and the ed base containing this edge means uh, this is the base containing this edge it is at a 30 degree okay drop it up here and that uh, resting edge the ab is parallel to the bp and 40 mm away you have to take 40 mm line and then you have to cut a ab then you have to reproduce this one here and then you have to drop this one so when you see from here you can see the line from uh, c to a c to b c to o so c to a c to b c to o and uh, from c to o1 it's an axis line okay so that's how exactly we can construct the things thank you